<laughs> the two leading principles in the Democratic Alliance, Dr. Kizabe Sija and former Premier Mama Mbabazi, have held high-profile talks in London, United Kingdom, under the auspices of former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. TDA, as many uh, prophets of doom, had to continue to, to talk about, uh, is, is not dead. TDA is alive, and that's why the summit is going to be held on Thursday. So such kind of talk is going to continue. There will be another meeting in Nairobi shortly, and I think you should also not be surprised when you see them going to meet. This meeting held a few days ago rekindles hope that though the alliance failed to pick a single flag bearer, Besige and Imbabazi can still forge a broad-based coalition in future. According to a news release from the TDS Secretariat, the leaders made substantial progress in preparations for the 2016 elections. The venue of the meeting bears a lot of symbolism, as the sitting government in UK is a key ally and financial of the FDC party. Highly placed sources reveal that during negotiations to elect a single flag bearer within TDA, UK Premier David Cameron gave impetus to the talks and his opinion on sticky issues was respected. Aswa County MP Regan Okumu confirmed the meeting took place and the role the astute diplomat Anan played. Kofi Anan is an eminent African leader. He has been um, uh, a Secretary General, definitely want to see Africa uh, become more democratic. Uh, he, 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 he played a role in Kenya, you remember very well, and he's an, an eminent person. Other meetings between Besija and Imbabazi will be held in Kampala and Nairobi soon. Okumu also revealed that the FDC's association with David Cameron's Conservative Party was on the front of ideological orientation. And uh, we would expect uh, the Prime Minister of Britain, uh, who comes from the party we cooperate with, uh, to pursue the interests of Uganda to see that stability is there because the Conservative Party's interest, and I want to assure people and let people know that their major interest in Africa today is to democratize Africa. As the opposition continues to hold meetings with key actors in foreign capitals, it's not clear yet whether the West is ready to abandon President Museveni viewed as the anchorman in a volatile Great Lakes. Emmanuel Mutaizibwa, NTV Tonight.